dear you. You, who stare at me as I drive my wheelchair down the street. You, who just walked away while I was trying to ask you something. You, who called me retarded while I was just five feet away. You, who were so quick to judge me even though you don't know my story. I am writing this letter to you, not because I'm mad at you, but because I want to rescue you from your ignorance. I want you to know what a day on my wheels is like, and perhaps to have you appreciate a day on your feet. Do you know how it feels like to be imprisoned in your own body? But unlike a prison, there's no way to escape. My mind goes ten times faster than my body does. My brain tells my feet to walk without wobbling like a penguin, but the signal never goes down to my feet. In my head, I speak perfectly. But what comes out of my mouth is a shock to both me and you. In my head, I've already finished writing this letter, but I can only type with my right hand. Typing is a dancing act, as my hand does a waltz all over the keyboard, often landing on the wrong keys, and the delete keys being its best partner as they meet after tapping on every other key. When I was a kid, I didn't believe in the Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus. Instead, I used to believe that one day I would wake up and my disability would be gone that I'd join the other kids in a game of tag, that I'd break the class's hula hoop record. But like every kid, I was devastated when I discovered that this thing I believed in was a fiction, a myth, a fantasy. I've gone through one too many detours in my journey. Such a path is rarely traveled. My body is weary from travel. My legs fail as I crumble to the earth. My vision is blurred by darkness, thick fog, and foliage. I see only the faintest light taunting me, glittering in the horizon. Yet, I am eager to ascend onto the bright pathway ahead despite the obstacles. I had people who severely underestimated me, told me I did not belong. But I believe that what does not kill me makes me stronger. I let those hurtful words that kids said to me fuel me with hope. I marched forward with the light shining vibrantly and the path becoming more visible. Trying twice as hard for success, I remained humbled by the miracles occurring in front of my eyes and grateful for the strength I developed. You may feel sorry for me. You may feel pity. But the irony is, I at times pity you. Yes, it may take me two hours to get ready in the morning while it may only take you 15 minutes. Yes, it may take me longer to eat, to write, to speak. But I have something you don't. I am quicker to smile at a sunny day. I am better at not looking at the small inconveniences life gives me. I am more likely to get to know someone before I judge them. I am grateful to be alive. You see, I refuse to believe that my obstacles define me. Instead, I believe that these wheels will drive me towards all my dreams. I learned that the only limitations we have are the ones we put on ourselves. I may be disabled but I most certainly am not unable. Yours truly, that girl in a wheelchair. <laughs>